All right, so this question is dependence of resistance on resistor dimensions ranking task. So it gives you a rectangular block, tells you the dimensions of it. First thing you do is face, uh, rank it on its electrical resistance on the, like along its faces, X, Y, and Z. So here's the block it gives you. And so the equation we're gonna look at is resistance equals P L over A. Now I believe this P is the resistivity P. Yes, this P is resistivity, not power. Always gotta check that. L is length. Uh, of course, like of a side length, so like the 10 centimeters, you know, a length like that. And E is area, which is nice rectangles. We've got some basic, basic areas. So for A, if we're ranking the, what is it? Yeah, the electrical resistance, we're actually ranking R, not P, even though that is resistivity, we're ranking R. So what we're gonna see is the smaller, or the larger the area, the smaller the resistance is gonna be, and the smaller the area, the larger the resistance can be. So the smallest area we're gonna see is this one right here which is three by four, and that is along the Y axis. So Y is going to be the largest one, side with the largest resistance because it has the smallest area. Next smallest we're gonna see is this one, because this is three by 10, so 30. And then the largest one is gonna be this side right here, which is four by 10, and that is along the X. So that is your answer for A. So the smaller the area, the larger the resistance. For B, it's asking us if all of the dimensions were doubled, what happens to the resistance? So we have our resistance equation, same thing. Let's say we double all everything. So this new resistance equals P doesn't change, the length does change, and area is length times length. So if it's 2L times 2L, we're gonna get Four. So it's four times the area, which equals P times L over 2A. So if you compare this to this new one, to the original resistances, you can see that it's one half of PL over A. So resistance has been halved.